Here's something you've probably never thought about. In the final scene for It's a Small World, you can see all the children of different cultures and nations brought together in harmony. I mean, that's the idea for the ride, right? You travel through different regions of the world, and all of these children are singing a song about reconciling their differences, with the ride ending in this last scene where they're all united together. But what about this scene tells us that they're together? Well, you can certainly point out that the distinct costuming and props of the figures that represent their culture are standing right next to each other, but the thing that unites them all is the color white. Blue is also present, but that's really just a background color, meant to contrast with the white coloring and really bring it to your attention. In this scene showcasing the harmony between the children of the world, why do we associate the color white with goodness and peace, and why not something else? If these figures were all wearing red, or black, or green, would this scene even make sense to us? No. I think that as a Western audience, we automatically associate the color white with enlightenment, and that's why we immediately understand the scene. But where does this idea come from, and how have we been subconsciously trained to understand it? Well, the history behind it has been in the making for 2300 years, and today we're going to be exploring this idea and how it relates to the final scene of It's a Small World. First, we must travel back. Way back to the classical period of ancient Greece and to Athens. Here we have the famous philosopher Plato, which I'm sure you've heard of. His ideas and perception of the world are the root of many Western conceptions. An essential component of Plato's philosophy concerns his conception of metaphysics. For Plato, the world is made up of essential forms. These forms are the true essence of any particular thing. For example, if you tried to construct a perfect circle, such as drawing it, you wouldn't be able to do so. Think of it almost as a shadow of the real thing. However, because you can perceive the idea of the perfect circle in your mind as mathematically possible, Plato might say that this is the true form or essence of the circle. While you yourself cannot produce this perfect form, it does exist in the fabric of our reality. The average person cannot inherently see the true form of the world unless they are trained to do so. Take beauty as another example. What one person perceives as beautiful, another person could interpret in an entirely different way. In our postmodern world, many of us recognize that beauty is a matter of perspective. For Plato, however, the essence of beauty is rooted in the metaphysical realm. It is something that has a true form that only needs to be revealed. To help illustrate this, let us take a look at the often called Allegory of the Cave, found in Plato's Republic. In the allegory, there are prisoners who are chained up inside a cavern. There is a fire behind them, and occasionally figures will walk in between the fire and the prisoners, casting shadows on the cave wall. The prisoners have been there all of their life, and all they know of the world are the shadows on the walls. They interpret these shadows as reality, and apply names and concepts to the reoccurring shadows that they recognize. One day, however, one prisoner is freed and wanders outside the cave. At first, he is blinded by the sun, but as his eyes gradually adjust, he begins to see the true origins of the shadows. The sun has provided him clarity, and he realizes that his previous perception of the world was simply a shadow of what actually exists. Going back to the cave, he attempts to explain this to the other prisoners, but is harshly attacked. There are a number of interpretations for the allegory, such as the philosopher transcending the ignorant masses, but it is also enlightening in that it reveals more about Plato's conception of forms. The shadows represent superficial and misguided interpretations of the world, just like that imperfect circle. One must exit the cave and see the light of the sun to truly experience the actual metaphysical essence of the world or the good. The good can be perceived almost as the ultimate form from which all other forms are derived. Only when one can perceive this will they then achieve enlightenment. Obviously, I'm not a philosophy professor, so I do suggest doing your own research to make your own interpretations of Plato's philosophy. 
But the allegory of the cave and Plato's metaphysical conceptions are important because they affect the entire history of Western civilization and how it perceives the world. Through Plato, the light of the sun became a symbol of enlightenment, and this idea permeates Western history. Plato would be continuously studied by Greeks and Romans, and then by Arab scholars as classical works spread south. Europe would lose these works, but Christian philosophers would rediscover them in the Middle Ages, connecting God with the sun as enlightenment. This idea would further permeate medieval and then Renaissance philosophy and art. To be good and close to the light was to be close to God. To be without God was to be in darkness or evil. Do you see how the color white came to represent the light of the sun, and black with its absence and darkness? It's no surprise that heaven is often represented in the sky with light, with hell being underground in the dark. Today, this conception is still found everywhere in our art and media. Take for example, Star Wars, a classic story containing the theme of light versus dark. While blue or green lightsabers tend to represent the light side instead of white, and red the dark side instead of black, the point still stands that these two ideas are juxtaposed with one another. The east sides of the forest also seem to be derived from Christian ideas of light and dark. The light side of the forest preaches compassion and constraint, whereas the dark side is full of temptation and evil. I don't think that George Lucas ever intended for Star Wars to be a Christian allegory, but the contrast of light and dark is so ingrained in Western society that it just comes naturally to the story. I think, then, that the final scene of It's a Small World makes a lot more sense. Just riding through it, you can see Plato's ideas 2300 years later, and we immediately grasp the message. The children in this scene are represented by white. Not only because it serves as a blank slate to put aside their differences, but by doing so, they have achieved enlightenment. To find a way to end all warfare and unite together is to purge society of the evil and temptation that often plagues it. If you want to find out more about the theme of this ride, which is world peace, and how it originates in the industrial scale warfare of the last two centuries, I do recommend checking out one of my earlier videos entitled, Why It's a Small World Belongs in Tomorrowland, which I will link in the description. This is an attraction that has so much cultural context behind it, that you can read into it if you know what you're looking for. As we can see with identifying Plato's philosophy in this last scene, it's almost like decoding a hidden message in plain sight. In fact, I doubt Dizzy's Imagineers realized this when designing and constructing the attraction. The next time that you ride on Small World, I do encourage you to think about everything that you're seeing. How are different cultures and nations depicted on this ride? What is the history that led to its creation? Maybe you can enlighten the people you're with on the reason that this last scene is represented with the color white. If you enjoy this type of content and discussion, please go ahead and hit the like button on the video. It allows these videos to then reach a wider audience and therefore leads to a larger discussion where we can continue to learn. As always, be sure to also hit the subscribe button and bell notification so that you can be alerted when new videos are released.